We're going back to prominence, everybody. Let's just go. Now what we have to do is rather crazy. But it's the way to turn the lights on. Oh. Well, look at that, the lights are on. Alright, we'll find the room. First, we have to listen to stuff. And read stuff. From Reese Ren Keterek, Mission Commander, to Dan Danir Alavaji, Chief Engineer. What if things that this solar prominence could be powerful enough to affect our mission, electronics, and system in unusual ways? She says the research team has been collecting data that appears to be quite different from the pre-eruption activity that would normally be found with this kind of star. I asked her to review the data with you and to discuss safeguards and security measures to avoid unforeseen consequences. Smith here. I was up in central computer control replacing some of the boards up there and I could really use an update on when that B7R5 board might be fixed. The replacement board that's in there right now is an earlier substandard model. You know how Annie gets when she knows that she's working with less than ideal equipment. I spoke with her and she's okay with it for now but we're really looking forward to that repair. Thanks guys. Never so. Actually, from Jared Pepka to now Nariso. Nariso, you slacker. I left a stump baton on your workbench and I just came down to check on whether you got it done. I saw you tossed it into your workbench. You better fix it and bring it back to security ASAP. Or I'll come down there and pummel you with, with one we've got up here that still works. From mission commander to chief engineer. I'm scheduling a meeting with the section hands for tomorrow at 1900 uh, to discuss contingency plans in the cafeteria. Until then, continue the preparations that were previously approved. Thanks for your hard work. Damari, it's Bryce. Uh, listen, I was working in one of the vents under Annie and lost a pry bar and fell down one of the narrow vertical ducts. I think we can probably get to it from medical, but I'll need a hand. Can you meet me down there with a pair of vent hooks when your shift comes up? Uh, we'll never get that flush grating off the wall without them. Interesting. Now we need to go and do one other thing before we move on. Look at that. Alright, we need to go this way. The elevator works. Yay. Trusty assistant is down here. I think it might be lost. I asked if it needed anything, but it ain't talking. 
I'm gonna send it back up to you. If it isn't there by the time you get this, call me back and we can get somebody from security or tech to help out. From Seiya Lorva to Ama Richisa. So, Race and I finally had that dinner we've been planning. At first, I was so nervous, and I think he was too, but once we sat down and started talking, everything just came so naturally. Never met someone who could talk so easily before. I'm sure if we had all night to talk, we would have. As it was, I got back to my quarters very late and ended up getting only a few hours of sleep, but it was worth it. Ama, thank you for so much for everything. I am a little worried about everyone else finding out about this, but I suppose I shouldn't worry about it too much. One more thing, if I can, if I stop by, can you give me something for this headache? <laughs> Overall power capacity at ten percent. This place looks so much better lit up. I tell you what. Friend, it just looked absolutely terrifying. Oh wait, there's something back here. This game's loading is weird. Whoa. That was weird. Come on, look down. Thank you. I don't. I don't know what they're for either. We picked up something. Alright, there's nothing we're using there. So what did I pick up? I picked up another chip, I guess. Don't ask me where I am. I'm just exploring. Let's see, can we mess with anything here? Ooh. I guess that's the um planet. Something to that effect. I 
But I don't know what to do with that, so I should not mess with that. <coughs> That's not good. From that person to Quinn Kellari, communications officer. We've been monitoring a flurry of increased solar activity down here in research, and all signs are pointing to some kind of massive solar event. In the next few weeks, depending on the scale of it, the energy wave from this type of solar discharge could wreak havoc with our electronics and communication systems. I recommend that all departments make preparations to deal with this because there will be no way to escape the impact of this event. I guess that might be what caused all this mess. Hi, did you lose a URC? I found one in storage down on two. I brought it up and lifted at your station. Okay, bye. Michael Sakara too, that guy. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so graduate of the class of 5486 from the University of Bassin, Ontario. Ratha Ratissa performed a residency at Bassin Medical Center, specialized in emergency medicine. Continuing her work there, she noted f she was noted for excellent response time under pressure and a cold level head approach to emergency situations. She spent five years on board a Polonian transport working at the ships as a ship's medic. And then 11, another 11 years working as the sole doctor at Fort Monty Colony on a Sura 7. He thinks I should write this down. That does that. I don't know where this is. All the other cameras are down.
waste processing engineer. Hey, Myrta, did you see the two lovebirds in the cafeteria? I think I think an explosion could have gone off, could go off, and they won't notice. It looks pretty serious. Let's destroy what that fool birth of yours hurt. He wiped out and missed it. His ankle while on duty. As he turned out to do that stunt, you pulled up in train when he fell off the overlook and busted your arm. If we doesn't think the doctor's going to have mercy on him. Maybe if you guys didn't stir your drinks with the stun batons, we wouldn't need to fix them all the time. See, down here in power control, we're actually doing some work. Ellie's and Rondel day in security, watching camera feeds and breaking equipment like some other people I know. That's funny. And we'll be back, guys. <laughs>